As the world's less affluent countries scramble for COVID-19 vaccine and contend with deadly surges of the disease, researchers in South Africa have just documented an ominous development, the collision of the pandemic with HIV, AIDS. Geneticists and infectious disease specialists there have uncovered potentially dangerous coronavirus mutations in a 36-year-old woman with uncontrolled HIV who was unable to shake the SARS-CoV-2 virus for close to eight months. The driving force behind the patient's rapid accumulation of genetic changes is probably her impaired immune response due to her unsuccessfully treated HIV, the researchers said. The case highlights a difficult truth that affluent nations racing to vaccinate their own populations will remain vulnerable as long as the coronavirus is spreading and mutating in low- and middle-income countries, where lack of vaccine has kept COVID-19 immunization rates low. That's especially true in countries like South Africa, where HIV infections are common but often undetected. This underscores the advantage that this virus has until we can put the brakes on it, and we have to put the brakes on it globally," said Dr. Bruce Walker, founding director of the Ragan Institute, an immunology research center in Boston. While the South African patient was diagnosed with HIV back in 2006, doctors had been unable to control her viral load with standard antiretroviral therapy, and her immune system's population of CD4 plus T cells, which may play a role in clearing coronavirus infection, were very low. For 216 days, the woman continued to test positive for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. She was hospitalized with moderate illness for nine days in September soon after she contracted the coronavirus, but she never became severely ill with COVID-19. Still, the coronavirus that lingered in her body underwent 13 genetic changes related to its crucial spike protein, along with at least 19 other genetic shifts elsewhere that could change the behavior of the virus. The new findings raise the specter that HIV, AIDS, a 40-year-old scourge that has killed 32 million worldwide, could complicate efforts to eradicate a COVID-19 pandemic that has killed more than 3. 5 million in less than a year and a half. Until the South African patient, there has been little evidence to suggest that HIV-infected people could complicate the pandemic's trajectory. HIV-positive people were not known to be more likely to become infected with the coronavirus. And research had suggested they did not suffer worse medical consequences of COVID-19. But if her case turns out to be typical, that picture could change. HIV patients whose infections are not controlled with medication could become a factory of variants for the whole world," said Tulio de Oliveira, a geneticist at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban, who led the new research. Worldwide, roughly 8 million people are thought to be infected with HIV but unaware of their status. An additional one, 